my favorite fighter, bruiser, jungler in my opinion, was Grux. Grux and I went hand in glove and I thoroughly enjoyed doing his rework here. He's, in my opinion, the ultimate control bruiser. Let's see what let's let's see what I've done with him. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a hero rework video. I am Sylphin. So a few things right off the bat. One does not represent what Unleashed Games is doing to in their Paragon 2 project in any way. This is simply my idea. Two, hero passives are coming back. So we have to think of a passive that really, you know, that uh, that fits these heroes in a certain way. Three, I really like quest mechanics. And for me, I've put them into their in, into their kits so that if you do something that fits the hero's purpose and gameplay style, well, you get rewarded. For I believe all heroes need to be based around a central gameplay niche theme reason, whatever you want to call it, because that is in if you don't have that, then there's no reason to pick other heroes over uh, over others. That means that most heroes will just be designed relatively the same, and, well, then there's no point in having a lot of different heroes. So they need to fulfill certain roles and niches, and that's what I'm trying to really emphasize here with my hero rework designs and ideas. So for Grux, I believe that his niche and theme is a serious control bruiser. He is the guy that stuns you, that pulls you, that slows you, that that just he's like he's there, man. He'll he he's a beast. He's he's a beast. Um, and you know what? I really liked um, I really like this this aspect of Gr of Grux. I thought of making him a tank, to be honest with you, with how much control I was kind of thinking of 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 putting putting onto him. But you know what? If he's so ability based um, and they're all they're all aggressive in 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 nature, well then you know what he's probably going to he, he should be a bruiser. So he's not as tanky baseline as a tank. He doesn't deal as much damage as a fighter. Definitely not an assassin, but he he, he can bruise it out on 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 the front line. Not as much as a tank, but. Um, as a bruiser so he's a control bruiser control stuns cr crowd control basically him so his stats wise he's gonna have a low base basic attack speed just like he did before lower basic basic attack he he chunks he chunks you baby and um that that really helps with his passive as well which i think it's pretty sick passive every eight seven six five seconds Grux's next basic attack blocks, or sorry, knocks up an enemy for 0.5 seconds. So every time that passive is up, you get the uppercut to knock to knock up an enemy for 0.5 seconds. It's not a stun. I mean, it's a knock up, um, but he has that every eight, seven, six, five seconds. He knocks you up and uh, controls you a little bit. Pretty darn sick. Um, because of the low base, uh, low base basic attack speed, it's, that's, go you know, um, you'll, you'll have to, you know, if, if that passive is up and you're, and you're just, you've just did a basic attack, it's not instantaneous, right? So you just, the application of that is going to be reduced just a little bit, but I thought of making it every third or fourth basic attack. Uh, but then you can you, you can abuse that a little bit more with with attack speed. I thought that this um, I thought this was a little bit more appropriate. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of that awesome passive. Double pain. Grux hemorrhages enemies in a small wedge in front of him, dealing damage and causing them to bleed for a good portion. I mean, a good portion of the current current health over five seconds. I thought that it would be a little bit. <coughs> pardon me. A little bit too powerful if it was max health on all heroes, especially uh, tanks and stuff like that. So current health uh, would definitely um, 
definitely seem a little bit more appropriate. Bleeding targets take 50% reduced healing. That is a that's a huge gameplay mechanic that has to be designed into the, into the game inherently. Um, whether that is whether that makes it into Paragon 2, I don't know, but certainly can be uh, cer cer certainly can be cool um, there as well. Makes makes sense, right? You're bleeding. You, you, you're bleeding. Yeah, take take reduced healing because you're bleeding. Nine nine second cooldown, a little bit more uh, than I think it was. Smash and grab, pretty much the same. After one second, Grux smashes the ground, pulling all targets in a large cone, just like in Legacy, like it used to be in Legacy, in front of him, towards him, dealing damage. Twelve second cooldown. After pulling twenty enemy heroes, smash and grab pulls twenty percent faster. So essentially, the animation of it is sped up, so that you can get back to basic attacking, to double painting, to just chunking people um, faster. And also it's more reliable, you can use it more reactively, stuff like that, increasing Grux's uh, potential influence. So there's Smash and Grab, pretty much the same. It was a really, really, really strong part, part of him um, that has to stay. <coughs> Pardon me. Stampede. Stampede is back. His rush. Grex rushes forward a thousand units. Not that far. It's not ranged basic attack, but a little bit less. So you still have to get close. You still have to be in engage rage, right? You can. You still are taking damage, especially from abilities. Definitely from from ranged basic attacks. But then you can rush forward. It's not some like huge rush or anything like that. It's within range basic attack range slowing enemies hit by an amount for 2.5 seconds it was hard to it was hard to use um you you know there was a little bit of a delay before before you rushed forward stuff like that though it isn't won't be the most consistent but if you're skilled and you can use it you get some more extra value from it <coughs> got a frog in my throat or something warlord's challenge that's his ultimate it's going to do the same in my opinion it does the same. It empowers the damage from your double pain, from your basic attack, from your smash and grab, even your even your stampede. Although it, it I, I forgot to add, it does a little bit of damage in there. Um, and it has the micro stun because he's a control bruiser and uh, also adds a stack of bleed onto everybody. Uh, sorry, no, the, it's bleed isn't stack stack based. It is just bleed based. So there you guys have it. That is Grux to me. Serious control bruiser that just gets in there and wrecks your day. If you can, you know what, slow him and, and get away from him, focus him, he, you'll, you'll be able to take him down. But otherwise, otherwise, he is a force to be reckoned with. Really, that I think to me is what Grux ultimately is. And... Remember, all the numbers and stuff, just kind of forget the numbers. Instead, think of the concept behind it, and then we can go from balanced numbers after that. Because, obviously, with all of that in his kit, Grux, yeah, Grux would have to be balanced quite, quite finely. You know, less, less health scaling, a little bit less armor scaling. And his his abilities uh, would, would would have to do bit less damage than than, than maybe they, they they used to. The bonus from Warlord's Challenge would be a little bit less. Um, his basic attack would have to be maybe a little bit less. He he dealt a lot of damage back back, back on Legacy, um, or back 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 on Monolith. So you'd have to tune him really really quite nicely. Some people were saying that this is a lot. This is a lot for for one hero. Like he's doing a lot, but remember that the cooldowns are actually fairly long. Your stampede is long. Your smash and grab is long. Your double pain's the only one that I think we should have. It, it should be a little bit longer, nine seconds or six, six, like seven, eight, nine seconds, something like that. So you're kind of not doing too much, you know. You may, maybe you stampede forward in, into position. Maybe you don't because you're you're flanking. You know, you use a smash and grab to pull to pull people. Well, there you go. You've used that ability, and then you double pain. 
and then that's it. You know, then you just go and basic attack. So, so what if you used your Warlord Challenge before that? It, you know, it's, there's not much to this kit. Uh, you know, you have three relatively long, longer cooldown abilities. You just kind of, after, after you use a few abilities, you're just hacking and slashing. And that's it, you know what? Apart from his, apart from his really good abilities that, that, that we, that we have here. You're just, you're just a beast. Please like this video if you like it, dislike it, if you dislike it, share it, share it with the community. Of course, guys, subscribe. If you guys like this content, let me know down in the con, co in the comments below. Let me know what you'd like to see next. Till next time, like always, stay optimistic and positive.